everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Halo. Combat Evolved Anniversary. Yes, it's the same thing. Uh, I've just been struggling with my microphone for a little bit, so I've recorded less than I would like. But I also made a meme video today, so that's alright. We're doing Assault on the Control Room. Right. Yep. So I finally got uh, earbuds again, so I can listen to this. Hold on, I want to see what's back here, guys. Give me a sec. Wow. Like, look at the lights. Look at God. That's that's such a stark difference. Gosh. I will say something about the um the health system. I want to I want to put it out here. Yeah, it's the same. I guess it's just solid, you know. Like they were just totally fine with the health system as it was originally. Which like I'm cool with that. It's a good health system. God, I can't wait until we get the actual gun. What are... Interesting. Like, here it's more obvious that that's covered in, like, plexiglass or something. Did I get anyone? Sure didn't. So we've now gotten to, um, for those who uh, need a little catch up on where the hell we are, we know where the uh, object or area called the, uh... sorry, we know where the control room is, thanks to us finding the silent cartographer. All over, dude. I'm gonna say, I cannot wait until we get to play Halo 2. Because, like, a lot of Halo fans still really do like this game, but they're like, yeah, Halo 2 better, though. Which is fair. I'm also, uh, I'm really excited for 4. Uh, this is gonna date this video. Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to happen. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the Cortana to Fireteam Zulu. I read you. Fireteam Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. That, uh, hmm. That's unfortunate. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. Wait, right, they explode. So I actually uh, looked up something from uh, from this video game here. Uh, as it happens, Spartan ones do exist. I, I, because Chief is what's called a Spartan two. Yeah, that's uh, that was stupid. Real ball drop there. Interesting. 
The weather patterns will seem mystical, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Left on this part Cortana to Fireteam Zulu. I read you. Fireteam Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. So you know, yeah, so Spartan ones exist. Um and I believe Sergeant Johnson actually is one. Spartan ones are just relatively like normal dudes who just got genetically engineered a little bit. Whereas Spartan twos are, you know, raised from birth, uh, genetically engineered, and given the armor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, etc. All that shit. Um, cause I originally thought that the, uh, the chief and his class of dudes were called Spartan twos as a reference to the historical warriors of Sparta, you know, as it happens, that isn't the case. Although the Spartan ones are named after those warriors. Uh oh, no oh God. Glass break. Motherfucker. Maybe I can just run it. Half the grunts are asleep, so. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. The designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu, I read you. Oh boy. A lot of you guys, huh? See, I was hoping that... Yeah, that didn't work out, did it? Interesting. The weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are not functioning. Or if the designers wanted to... Why am I getting hung up here, of all places? I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Um... I read you. Jesus Christ. One moment, everyone. Hey, and we're back. I think that's everyone. Besides, you know, that one guy. Here he is. Come on down. Is that him? I think that's everyone. Uh, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit since it's pretty popping. Joo -joo, there you go. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Yep. Okay. And hey, we got a checkpoint. See, so yeah, despite the fact that I paused the recording so I could uh, not have to focus on speaking, I, uh, <laughs> I just did it on my next try like there was nothing. I'm having a weird day. Uh, I, s I spilled milk all down my fucking shirt. Like I'm some kind of an idiot. Uh, and I had to fix my microphone again. Because I mentioned that like I unplugged my microphone once and then it reset all my settings and it would keep resetting them somehow even though I had set them to a certain setting and then it just would not stay there one short uh, and yeah it's election day um, for whatever reason I always think of how in 2012 Halo 4 came out on election day which is like a weird and random thing to remember right like I know that Halo has come out in November. I originally, you know, I started doing this LP because it was 19 years of Halo.
But can't squeeze through that hole. The yeah, Halo has always come out in November, but it's just weird that I always think of Election Day uh, in the United States as being, oh yeah, the day that Halo came out. Even though Election Day isn't the same day every year. But yeah, as I say, I'm having a strange day. I currently don't know who the president's going to be. Fingers crossed that it won't be someone who kills me. Who would kill me, given the chance. Look at the difference in blood splatter. That's kind of dope. Spilled milk all down my shirt. Saw someone taking their cat for a walk, though, when I went to go pay my rent. Um, the company who is in charge of... I guess I can't pick that up, huh? The company who's in charge of um, my apartment just changed again which is the second or third time that's happened and things like that keep happening to me which is pretty weird Hip. i like these little grunt holes you know they're holes for grunts yeah, i love that Don't think I'm going to be able to make it up there, though. This is the way I came in. You may notice that there's a few arrows here and there guiding you places. Sometimes, though, they're just pretty lights. Okay. Corpses mean you're going the right direction, right? So this is the part of the game where I start to get really foggy because as I'm uh, as I've said I've only I've never beaten this game. Um, I've never even seen a video of someone beating it. Am I supposed to go here? Hold on. Do it from do it from here. And like the music's dropped out. This is eerie, honestly. As I mentioned in the past, game developers, this is who you're making your games for. This when when they talk about idiot proofing, they do mean me. Though uh, Gabe Newell, um, this is actually pretty relevant. I've always seen Half Life and, and Halo as like analogs to one another. Considering they're both uh, defining games in the shooter genre. Uh, they define like their respective consoles, according to some. They're both about fighting aliens. Uh, they start with uh, HAL. Their, their titles do, I mean. Damn. But something that Gabe Newell, uh, one of the original designers for Half-Life, has talked about is the hardest thing to do in video games is to get somebody to look up. Because human minds don't naturally look up. There's something has to make them look up. It's, it's not something that humanity does. Um, that's not right. I'm glad I came back to see that at least. There's nothing down here, right? No. Break the glass for good measure, though. Just in case. Not like I have to reload this thing. And, like, the arrows go this way. But Gabe Newell has talked about how it's almost impossible to get a human to look up. It's just something that we're not evolutionarily coded for. And, you know, even now, in this modern day of age and civilization, the caveman brain and the... the the tricks that, you know, early humanity learned 6,000 years ago. 6,000 years ago is too early, even. Those are still being applied today. Was this always here? 
How did I miss this? Did I just go left instead of right? Jesus, I'm stupid. Anyway, the trick that Gabe always does is if he wants a human to look up, he puts a big fucking light. Uh, because the thing that, uh, something that a human brain is coded to notice is light. Oh wait, shit, there's fall damage. Shouldn't do that. I wonder if I can kill myself on here. No, I fall pretty quick compared to it. Which is weird because the jumps in Halo have always been kind of floaty. And then the beat comes in. Oh, sh I always have issues telling whether they're like a live grenade or not. Also, I'm not sure if this is a function of the famine skull being turned on. Um, and by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I like turning on famine just to force me to change my weapons more. Because otherwise, like in Halo Reach, I would get a DMR and just beat the game with that in my hands. But having famine on means that I'm forced to uh, play a lot smarter, switch my weapons constantly, always be grabbing something new. Because then, you know, you get to see me use shit like plasma repeaters and swap between the pistols and rifles. Uh, in two and three, I can dual wield. It'll get a little easier in the other games where, like, a variety of weapons is higher. So I'll have to be switching between all the, like, earth weapons and all the covenant weapons. But yeah, that's why I do it. It's, uh... Eh, wrong button. It just so I'm forced to see a wider variety of weapons, which is better for an LP. Uh, complacency is a big problem in Halo. Because people just like have their one gun that they like and then they don't switch it. Like in ODST, I would just leave the pistol on and stick with that. Sweet! Oh yeah, we get to see a Wraith for the first time here. So you can see that the projectiles have been changed dramatically. So I'm missing a plasma pistol, although I might be able to grab one off of these fools. But I believe that you can still EMP uh, wraiths. Also, the thing that I uh, forgot to say doesn't work. That's unfortunate. Can you even mount them? I don't know what is and isn't in this game. And now we will wait. I love that it does this perfect fucking bottle flip every time. That's great. So let's fire this thing. And hop out. It's falling. Oh, we see, uh, we see ghost as well and you can see here they're definitely trying to get you to shit man splattered but they're definitely trying to get you to get in a vehicle so you can have some vehicle to vehicle combat because we haven't seen any of that yet oh my god yeah I keep forgetting to say this but uh well that guy's fucking dead it appears that grunts that explode do not drop weapons. Oh, well, that'll help. Toto, Toto, Toto! I was hoping that I could snipe him.
Hop in, everyone. For the love of God, please get in. I'm reliant on you to do damage, so... Okay, so that makes a little more sense. The fact that they gave me these to do my work with. Yeah, this makes a lot more sense. Oh, that was so clean. Alright. Well, no, get back in. Please, I implore you, get back in. The only way you're going to be safe is in here. Alright, cool, we're good. Alright, focus fire, everyone. Gotta say, that was pretty fantastic. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I should write that spot down. My, uh, my grandma would always have uh, big collections of, like, newspaper comics. And uh, so I have an appreciation of old newspaper comics. And one of the comics that was before my time was this one called The Far Side. Ooh, Scorpion. And Ice Physics. Yippee skippo. Uh, the Far Side was this comic drawn by Gary Larson. Hop in, everyone. Um, it was a very, very scientific comic, but it was primarily Gagaday, uh, one panel. It takes a very long time for it to finish, uh, reloading the shot. But anyway, uh, one of my favorite comics, there's this mammoth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes another one. There's this mammoth that's laying dead with, like, uh... Why is there a British guy here? I guess it's all of Earth, right? But... I don't know if that necessarily makes sense. Do we have to? Wow, that's awesome. Sorry, anyway, so Gary Larson, right? Oh, man, I don't have to actually kill them all, do I? Great. There's a mammoth. Oh, there's little dots on it. I see. It's a mammoth with an arrow sticking out of its nuts. It's not drawn in particularly uh, high detail because it's a newspaper comic. And there's two caveman hunters, and they're like, "We should write that spot down." This place is decently built up, I do say. Oh, there goes another one. Now just me and you, other tank. Out of the way there. Alright. Is that enough for you? It is. At least it looks like. Let's see if I can't jack one of these, huh? I would assume that this is total. Yep. Oh, 
Hello, sir. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow. Just, this actually still looks pretty solid. Certain textures still look uh, great across both versions. Also, I know it's actually not a great model at all, but I really do like seeing the crappy 2001 Chief. I've become aware that uh, people can hear me. Oh, is it is it this button here? Did I just not click this? Sure is. Whoopsie doopsies. This reminds me of a uh, part in the Destiny 2 campaign. Or maybe not a campaign. I think it's on I think it's one of the sections on Earth. And this is music done by Marty O'Donnell, I believe. And man, they did not pay that guy well enough. I know they probably paid him pretty well, but it wasn't enough. That guy created possibly one of the most iconic soundtracks in history. Not just of video games, but like flat ever, straight up. The Halo soundtracks are all, all of them are amazing. Even the ones he didn't do, but those are, uh, those are their own thing. I don't know if Marty is back for, um, uh, for the new Halos. I, I love moments like this, by the way, where the game's just like, hey, uh, we're a game where we fetishize the military. We're going to let you just go on a rampage through the streets on a tank. That's what you want, right? Okay. Let's play it a little smarter now, huh? Did that get both of them? I believe it did. Excellente. Okay, clear those guys out. Dude's finna trying to snipe me from the bridge, but that's okay. This area reminds me of uh, Cold Storage. It was, um, I think Cold Storage might have been the first DLC I ever downloaded, like, ever. Uh, and for those who don't know, Cold Storage, oh, there goes that guy. Wait, can I just scan you guys and then back over this fool? At some point, you have to run it. There you go. Uh, Cold Storage is one of the DLC maps for Halo 3, and it was well known for being free DLC, and everyone was like, oh, wow, that's fantastic. Thanks. Because this is the era of, like, uh, Call of Duty releasing a map pack a week, and each one is a new, you know, thing you have to buy. And really, the, the, the dawn of microtransactions in general. Don't worry, soldier. Your gun will give me seven bullets. All right. Let's smooth through these fools. I want some nachos. Okay, it's a jackal. Oh, hunters as well. I mean, there's a level like this where they literally even call it a scorpion rampage. Where they're like, we know what you want. You want to go fucking crazy. Here you go. Like, the, the, the official description of that chapter, that mission, is Scorpion Rampage Through the Streets of New Mombasa. Uh, and since I already outed myself for recording this on Election Day, uh, you can tell that um, ODST has actually been out for a little over a month. It came out at the end of September, and here we are at the dawn of November. Just a couple months left until I... 
a couple of a uh, couple of days really until I learn if I'm uh, staying in America or moving to Canada. This is a question not really suited for um, a Halo Let's Play, but has a president ever changed their uh, vice president before they attempted re-election? Like, say I was president and I had some guy as my as my VP. And when I ran for re-election, I changed that and I was like, eh, we're going to get you out of here, man. Would he be upset? Oh, wow, that was great. That was good use of the grunt explosion. Like, can you do that? Because, like, there have been presidents who have changed their party and stuff. Like, and sometimes it's just... Oh, wait. Back, back up. Fuck. And sometimes it's kind of irrelevant. Like, um... Teddy Roosevelt just wanted to be president again, so he created the Bull Moose Party so he could run just in general even though his party didn't like him. You can do that? That's stupid. Why can you do that? That shouldn't be allowed. Let's see about this, shall we? Because I like scorpions, but I love ghosts. I love these maneuverable little fuckers. Now, I'm not sure if you can boost, but I might have just forgotten... Uh, the button to do it. Yeah, I love ghosts. If I were to get a Halo vehicle in real life, it would be one of these. Excuse me. The the laser sounds kind of wimpy here, though. You know? It's very much just like a pew, 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 pew. I've always thought that, like, for all the shit that grunts get, jackals are not allowed weaponry besides rifles and p uh, plasma pistols. Get out of here. Can you not boost in this game? Nice. Um, yeah, grunts are allowed ghosts. They're allowed fuel rod cannons. Get in the thing. Like grunts, grunts aren't given nothing. Like, I don't even think, um, I don't even think jackals are allowed to have uh, plasma rifles, whereas grunts totally are. And, like, yeah, Grunt's getting an equivalent of, like, machine gun. They get an equivalent of, this could be a problem. Unless I just keep circles. <laughs> Man, driving lessons, huh? Not your guys' strong suit. Ooh, more hunters. Kind of pulled myself into a corner there. Also, I'm on the fastest vehicle in the game. I might just be able to keep going, huh? Fuck all these guys, right? See ya. Noom. Oh, God. I'll kill these hunters. Why not? I don't think he said, oh, hell. I thought he said, oh, man. This reminds me of one of the Dark Souls 2 DLCs, most of all. Oh, God. That kind of should have been expected. Right, let's see if I can't drop this guy before he even gets in here. Damn. It's kind of hoping I might be able to. Go, go, go. See, aiming is not the strong suit of this vehicle. Oh, that's, that's the wrong button. Oh, God. Hey, yep. Land it. There you go, chief. 
Look at him go. Oh, those are our guys. Whoops. Pardon me, everyone. How about I hop out of here? Do a little quick switchy. Huh? Nani? Okay, that was pretty clean. Got to admit. Kind of Austin powers this thing between the rock here. Yeah, I really, I really, uh, I do really like uh, levels like this where they're like, okay, here's a bunch of cool, fun stuff, but also here's uh, some of the toughest challenges in this game. Where it's like, it's gonna be great because we're giving you all this weaponry, but we're giving you this weaponry for a reason. Some of my favorite moments on like hard mode, for example, have just been um, trying to contend with like the really high difficulty enemies with uh, not the weaponry you're meant to take them out with. Like sometimes you're very clearly meant to be using, you know, machine, like heavy machine guns and grenade rifles and shit. What the hell? Yeah, sorry, I didn't see that coming, guys. Uh, but a fucking banshee dropped out of the sky to ram me. I really do love the Halo 1 sniper rifle. I'm not usually a particularly fastidious user of snipers. Although, this is odd, but my dad is. My dad, who is not as... Side steps. My dad, who's not an avid of a, as avid of a gamer as I am, sniper rifles are his weapon of choice. And like crossbows and shit. In fantasy games, he uses bows. Alright, everyone, please calm down. I can only shoot at one of you at a time. Lead the target. Jesus. Yeah, that was to be expected. This isn't the easiest Halo game. Actually, I'm not so sure about that. I have recently played ODST. And, like, that is a very forgiving Halo. Oh. That's a problem. Although that is a problem solved. Okay, now let's get to a, uh... Let's get to an open window here. How are we living? What the hell is happening? I'm hitting the tree branches. <laughs> what in the holy hell is going on? All right. Yeah, sometimes just playing it safer and not trying to rush can be... Uh what you need. That's a slow rocket. That's not going to reach him in time. Target lead. He didn't die? That's just unlikely. Although one of those elites is down. And I've kind of got them focused together. There goes one. Okay. Let's stealthanize it in here. He's dead. F ah, the... Uh, the goddamn... Uh, 
That keeps taking me by that takes me by surprise too too often. What if we ignore these dudes actually? Like what if we were to just stealth assassinate a guy who won't die? I mean won't kill me when I die. Just strafe it. Strafe him. One down. There's another. Let's charge this fucking rock. Got a couple. Woo! Not good. <laughs> Shut up! That dude got so lucky there. Elites, I've come to bargain. Pip. God damn it. That is not what I wanted to happen, I will admit. These fucking tree... Is it the leaves? Is that what I'm hitting? Oh, God. That was the worst grenade throw of all time. <laughs> I love seeing this shitty texture. Get away. That's... Mm. I'm getting it figured out, though. I am doing this. I can do this. God. What's it take, huh? Wait. Today's my lucky day. And on cue, I get lit up by these guys. Really gotta leave that target. All right. I've gotta manage these. Okay, I've got a semi-defensible position here. Jesus. I jinxed it with semi-defendable. Maybe it was defensible that I said. One of those I shouldn't have. That was a fuck up. Nothing like an invisible man driving a car. And then two guys come out of here. They're different two guys this time. Does Halo have adaptive difficulty? I don't actually know. Something that you'll notice a lot with um, RE4 is a really good example. Yeah! <laughs> RE4 is a great example. Um, dying in RE4 will sometimes reset you. And it'll essentially drop the difficulty down a peg. So like if you're if you're playing very well, you'll play the game as it was intended. But if you keep dying, you know, every death will remove certain enemies. So uh, there's a very notorious area known as the water room because it's a room full of uh, pipes and waterfalls and stuff. Uh, it's also very church-like, but you know, the water is the most uh, important feature. But certain enemies will only show up in the water room on your first life. So dying in the water room will remove very specific enemies from that room. And then when you come at it again later... Oh, it's that guy! It's that guy! Jesus. Hey, checkpoint. So when you come at um, those enemies, or when you come at the water room again, you won't have those guys.
And I wonder if Halo does that. Does that. Because I saw um, the guy with the the guy with the sword only showed up on the very towards the end. As opposed to being there earlier. Jesus, three shots and I missed. And he's like three feet in front of me too. That's just, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing on my part. I'm making a mockery of this and of us and this. Let's clean one of these in there. Can I? I can, that's fun. I love that. That's an awesome mechanic. It's like a, it's like a castle, uh, a murder hole. Like, I'm pouring in the boiling oil to make it harder on the, uh, on the defenders. I thought that guy was alive. I mean, dead. I mean, fuck. I guess it's a reverse murder hole, because normally a murder hole is a thing that is on, like, in a castle used by the attackers. Nope, used by the people defending the castle to stop the attackers from getting in. Who needs aiming with this thing? Got a chicken pot pie for uh, lunch. It's aching to have one of those. I had a small breakfast, so I'm not gonna totally ruin myself. Besides, it's got vegetables in it. It is a Marie Callender's pot pie, which is one of the most unhealthy foods in America. I really love uh, the use of terrain deformation in firefights. That's fantastic. That's a it's in my notes. That's a fantastic game design thing. I really wish that there were more shooters that attempted innovation. And I know that that's like a hard thing to like beg for. Like, what do you what do you actually want from them though? And it's like I just wish that there were more shooters that try to have fun mechanics. Because like I make of games like Inversion for being uh, a crappy Gears of War clone with a crappy clone of the Half Life uh, Two Gravity Gun. Um, and also for trying to have a like dumb game, like gravity mechanic that doesn't really work. But Christ, Inversion tried something, you know? That's a lot of things that other games cannot say. It attempted to have a fun mechanic. You know? Like, you can use them like a live grenade. Ooh, there's a lot of guys in there. And once you know it, this rifle's almost out. How did this guy die? Wow. That is such a stark difference. Like classic elites are like, oh, what color is it? And that's kind of it. Modern elites are so stylized and so well designed. I love uh, most of the elite armors. Yep, just seal them all in there. How did you survive all of that? That's just improbable. You should buy a lottery ticket. I mean, if you weren't dead. Is there something creeping up behind me? 
There is. Give me your gun. I need it. See, the thing about Halo is that if, if you're able to be versatile with your use of weaponry, the Famine Skull just makes it more interesting, you know? Which is what I actually want. That's my favorite way to play. Like, I, I, I love being a jack of all trades. I love, um, like, the coolest way to play Dante in Devil May Cry is by constantly switching styles. That's great. And, like, for me, Chief should always be switching weapons. That's the cool, you know? This reminds me of another Halo 3 map. This fuck. It's sticking out of my butt and everything. How embarrassing for me. See how that does it for him. Wow. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of a Halo 3 map. I forget what the name of it is. Oh, wow, and there's guys over here too? That's cool. Because then we almost have like the shooting gallery set up. We're like, they're over here, and I'm over there. Nope. See, the, the Famine Skull blowing up all the extra guns is a little irritating, but that's okay. It just means I have to play smarter. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Maslow's Hammer. It's a, uh, a manner of philosophy, I suppose you could say. It goes a little something like, when all you have is a hammer, treat everything as though it were a nail. And can I just say, words to live by. Especially if you're holding a bloody rocket launcher. <laughs> You guys are so fucking cute. Oh, man. Shot my mouth off. Fucking cleaned me up. Okay. You. You. And then we'll retreat to regenerate. There's one of them. Possibly two. There, yep, got them. Wow, that elite is a cold motherfucker. The way he just, like, stood there and took that explosion, that was amazing. That guy has my respect. If I die, especially to him, I don't even care now. That is one cool fucking customer. Oh. A mutual kill. That guy is damn cool, though. So it looks like they only blow after they, like, rest. So one of the things about Halo is that you can pretty much always, like, s just slow down. Like, taking a sec is... Damn. The needles... I think the needles must work differently in this version. That might be why I'm getting so tripped up. Oh, see that? There were less grunts over there that time.
I love how you could hear the, uh, the guns spin up a bit. Maybe you should drop it down to easy, honestly. I love seeing distant explosions. Especially when there's something that I did. I had this idea for a Halo game type. I was never skilled enough to actually put it together, so I never made it. But, um... It was gonna be essentially Space Invaders, but with Halo stuff. So, some variety of... Get your ass back here. Take your pounding like a man, shorty. Damn it! Mmm, that's demoralizing. Well, how about we try the other way? There go two of them. Ho, ho, ho! It's you! Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> hey, it counts. It counts. That's that's clean. That's a clean that's a clean kill. I feel like I've been through this area before. I mean, I've been through like that's the second bridge I've been on, and I want to say like the third or fourth room like this I've been on. Am I even going the right way anymore? I don't know. Like, I've been in a room exactly like this, right? Am I going crazy? No, here's some more arrows, so they must lead this way. Okay, so this is a new area. I'm that much I'm sure of. Perfect. Wow, dude. Please take your pounding, sir. Jesus. That is a man who didn't want to die. I'm sorry that I must be the deliverer. But that is my nature. Oh wait, I'm the reclaimer. Master Chief would walk 5,000 miles and he would walk 5,000 more. Just to be the man who what? This is a hard level. Like, I heard people talk about how hard the library was going to be. I, I, I haven't seen anything yet. Jesus. Did that not kill anyone? Alright. Then I need a fresh weapon to tussle with Commando over here. Oh, new checkpoint though. There's a uh, elite shooting into the glass over there. That was cool. Someone broke it, though. Nice of them. Oh, wow. That was a couple of them. Pretty shway, if I do say so myself. I wonder... 
canonically what that explosion is supposed to be. Because it's similar to a plasma grenade. I assume that, like, in-universe, that explosion is them just, like, overloading the grenade they have in their pocket. Dropping it when they die. For whatever reason, I, I, I've talked about um, Call of Duty more now than I have in most of my other LPs. But I think there's a Call of Duty ability called that. Or that allows you to do that, rather. I think it's called Martyrdom. So, uh, plasma rifles can be reloaded, uh, but no one knows how to do it. <laughs> There's a bunch of, like, miscellaneous quotes about every, uh, weapon. Uh, and they're listed rather easily to find on the Halo Wiki, which is how I, uh, remember them. And the quotes for this thing or uh, one of the quotes that I mentioned earlier, where it's like, hey, it looks like a piece of shit. Okay, this is now the third bridge. What kind of bullshit is this? Oh, but it's the music, though. Come on, how can I be mad? It's that fucking track. Although it could also be a methane gas explosion. Because recall that grunts actually breathe methane. That's why their blood's blue. Because they're not, um, it's not red because... Damn it. Because with red blood, it's because we're oxidizing with iron. But with blue blood, they're essentially methanizing. It's uh, a different chemical compound. So the rust is blue. And use this thing as cover. The hunter over there is a problem. The lady on the soundtrack is fucking getting her paycheck. I will, I will say. Hunker down. Can't remember if your health regenerates quicker when you're hunkered, but uh, it should. Like game, game mechanics where a player has a choice or an action that they can take are always better than not. Like, um, I mentioned this in Cry of Fear, but, uh, it's Hall it was recently Halloween. It's November now, as I mentioned. But me and the girl from going through, uh, Silent Hill again, as we often do over the spook season. Which will not end until we're ready for Christmas, and that's whenever we say it is. Woo. Um, but in Silent Hill 3, you actually get a quite a lot of variety on how you're going to spec your, uh... Damn it! On how you're going to spec Heather. Since if you like, that was the worst throw. Let's try to do that. If you like, Heather can, uh, be fast and quick. Uh but physically weak, like she doesn't have a lot of health, or you can put on a bulletproof vest to slow her down, but also make her, like, more resilient. Uh, and on the pistol and submachine gun, you can put a silencer to weaken the gun shots, but also make it quieter so other enemies won't hear you when you shoot it. Maybe I can clear out some of these guys, huh? Because shooting one of them will just take out a few on... Because that's... Because of the explosion. Give me your gun. Hunter's over there. So by running here, I can... Take cover. Storming this bridge is actually really exciting. Oop. See, the hunter's shots are big and slow and weak, so I can avoid those pretty... 
I feel confident in saying that I can avoid them. The needler, man. Okay, can we do it fast then? I don't think I have the weaponry to do this fast, although I do have grenades. That could be useful. Oh god. I got further that time though. That'll send that guy. Really wish that I could do a wheel. Doesn't show up until later, though. See, I, I killed... How about I pause the recording, actually? Huh? Does this fucking work? God damn. It's bah. Bleh.